going to learn about order of operations examples. Let's say we have a problem like find the value of the following expression. 4 squared times 8 divided by 1 half. Now, to solve this problem, we have to use the order of operations, which is PEMDAS. P for parentheses, E for exponents, M and D for multiplication and division from left to right, and A and S for addition and subtraction from left to right. So, when we solve these types of expressions, we have to use the order of operations. That means we first solve the parentheses, then we solve the exponent, then we solve the multiplication and division from left to right, and then we solve the addition and subtraction from left to right. So, let's solve this problem. There are no parentheses in this expression, but there are exponents. 4 squared. So let's write down that 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Now we have to solve the multiplication and division from left to right. So we have to do 16 times 8. So 16 times 8, which is equal to 16 times 8 is equal to 128. Now we have to divide by 1 half. So divided by 1 half. But the denominator is a fraction. So that means that we have to multiply 128 with the reciprocal of 1 half. So it's equal to 128 times the reciprocal of 1 half or 1 over 2, which is equal to 2 over 1. That is the reciprocal of 1 over 2. So we get 128 times 2 is equal to 256. So, the answer to this problem, to this expression, is 256. So let's write that down. The answer to this expression is 256. Today we learned about order of operations. Thank you for watching this video.